One week ago, I asked you guys if this post got a thousand likes on Instagram. I promised you I would finally clean up the headlights on the M5. Today, you guys are gonna get your wish. I wanna show you something first though, because I always show you the outside of the car, but we never appreciate the interior of the M5 enough. I just recently treated all the red leather on the inside. It's looking exquisite. Look at this. Hold on. Oh my God. Now you can't tell if you can hear it. No, you can't. It was super dry, starting to get cracked. It's old, it's a 2006, but I treated all the leather. It was time for a spring cleaning, even though it's fall, but this car deserves it. We've gone through a lot together and the older it gets, the more care it's gonna need. So the inside was just treated. Look at these damn seats. Oh my God. Now today we're doing the headlights. Let's go. Today we are gonna be using a headlight cleaning kit from Meguiar's, shout out to them. I personally have never used this, so at the end of today, I'm gonna to give you guys an honest review of is this product worth it if you're trying to clean up your BMW headlights. My initial thought is yes, Meguiar's is a very respectable cleaning company for cars, but we'll see. You never know with stuff like this. Pretty simple, step one, clean. Step two, coat. So you can see mine are kind of dusty. As you can see, we need to do some work. That right there has to go. All right, I got you guys set up on the back of the pickup. Let's uh, dive in here. We got basically two spray bottles and a sponge. Two sponges. More like uh, steel wool, actually. One, two. Then we got step two, which is the coating, and step one, which is the cleaner. We gotta get the headlight edges taped off so that when we apply the cleaner, we're not scratching the actual car, which I would definitely manage to do. You're probably wondering why does Chris have a snow brush in his hand? It's uh, October. Well, the hydraulics in the hood don't work anymore because this car is so old. So, we gotta get creative with it. I know what you're probably thinking. Why does he not have the LCI headlights? I get comments on it every video. And the only reason is, obviously, pre-LCI M5. And they're like three grand Canadian. It's insane. Just for the headlights, not even the tails. But one day. We got the wall of treats over here, and we're gonna grab a fresh. Why is this damp? A fresh towel. Step one is we are gonna squeeze a little bit of the Meguiar's cleaning solution onto our sand pad here. It's got the paper thing on it, I should have known. Bah! Oh. Did not think it was gonna be white. They said a quarter size. Look like a quarter to you. Back and forth motion. Thank God for that tape. And shout out to the E60 lights. There's no hood attached or even close to the headlights, which makes this super simple because there's no risk of scratching anything up top. We are trying to get this to a point where it's a hazy white finish after wiping this off. And we've got two of these, one for each headlight. Really trying to get the corners. This is where that big blue faded spot was when we turned the lights on. So I'm gonna put a little extra effort into there. I think I want to go over it one more time. 
it is looking white and hazy, which is what we should be looking for. So that's a good sign. Is that looking white and hazy to you? It's looking white and hazy to me. Garbage bag. I hear one comment about my dirty engine bay. My cry. So my plan here is just to fully cover this and then rip a hole right here and then tape it down, I guess? Tell me that's not like a foolproof plan, right? The headlight is such a weird shape, which makes this a little more difficult. Look at that tape job. That's when you Back buy from a store. store. Two coats, five minutes in between. No going back now. I'm looking at the two headlights right now. It's only been one coat and you can already see a major difference. Here is the headlight that has not been restored yet. Here is the headlight that we just restored. That's crazy. That looks really good. All right, coat two going on. So I'm just letting that spray cure for five minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna start getting the second headlight taped up. Basically gonna do the exact same thing on the second headlight and then I'm gonna show you the result. I've had this car since 2017. I have never done anything to the headlights in terms of cleaning. So it's been at least seven years since these headlights have been touched, probably more. I gotta say, off first glance, it takes a full 24 hours for this thing to cure, but at first glance, those look brand new. Second light is done and sprayed. I think this one actually looks better than the first one. So we're gonna let them both cure overnight I'm gonna show you the final result tomorrow. See you then. Good morning, I just woke up. Uh, we have a long day today, so. Gotta show you the lights now. I'm acting like it's like four in the morning. It is 8.45, but it's a Saturday and I'm not a morning person. But, wow, I'm looking at the lights. Jesus. Now that they've had time to cure, they are looking brand new. Again, I wouldn't say it's perfect. I'd probably give this like an 8.5, 8 out of 10. But definitely better than when we started. So that's it. Getting a thumbs up. I recommend the headlight restoration kit from Meguiar. Go check it out. Guys, if you watched the entire video and made it to the end, thank you so much. I always got a special spot for you guys in my heart, the ones that stay the whole way. You're real ones and I appreciate you. Leave a like down low, leave a sub if you wanna keep up to date with all the M5 stuff going on. Also, I asked you guys this in a community poll the other day, but for the brand apparelbyenemy.com, our car culture clothing brand, I released a couple years ago an M5 E60T to kind of celebrate the build at that time. Now so much has changed with the car. It's a different color. It's got a different aero kit, different performance parts. Do you guys want a M5 version 2.0 t-shirt release or hoodie release, both probably, to celebrate that car? You'd get the green, midnight green, black green iridescent M5 on a T. I think I can come up with a pretty cool design for you guys. If you're interested in that, let me know down in the comments down below because that's something I can definitely get made. I'm really interested in making one for myself. So happy to make some for you guys too. And we can uh, celebrate the M5 build together. Lots more videos coming very soon. So I hope I'll see you guys in the next one. That being said, my name's Chris. Love ya. Bye.